Hello the people, welcome back to Quinty's Kitchen. I am Quinty and I make videos here on food, cooking and kitchen. If you're watching my video for the very first time, you're warmly welcome and to all my returning subscribers, thank you so so much for always stopping by. I love you all. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make folere, folere or zobo drink or sobolo. Zobo by the Nigerians and it's also called Sobolo by Ghanians. Ghanians hope I'm pronouncing this well. <laughs> Sorry if I got it wrong. But I know it's called Sobolo. And this is from Hibiscus Petals. And it's very nutritious. It helps to boost your immune system and may also help to prevent damage caused by the radicals in the body. This can also reduce the risk of developing um, many heart diseases or many other significant diseases such as diabetes and cancer. It also reduces cholesterol in your body so drinking hibiscus every day will also lower the cholesterol level by lowering the blood fat called lipids in your body and hence it will also help in losing weight so if you're interested in this of course who would not be interested in losing some calories <laughs> guys it's also very healthy and very nutritious and very refreshing you can either drink it warm or cold keep watching to see how it was served warm or cold so let's get started the first thing is your pineapple we are going to get a pineapple peeled because we need the peels of the pineapple very important for making this drink and you get your peels thoroughly washed and then place them in the pot we need this so that's the first thing clean your pineapple peels get them and then put in the pot then you get you chop the pineapples into little chunks and then place aside of course if you have a juicer you can go ahead and extract the juice of the pineapple which you are going to use later or not in the pot immediately you can so i have now two cups of my hibiscus petals or the fullery leaves or the zobo leaves or the sobolo leaves which get them washed thoroughly please wash them about three times and then pour that in the pot so for one pineapple i had two cups of my hibiscus petals and the next thing is one apple i'll go ahead now and chop my apple and then place that also in the pot i know you told your friend you're not okay and tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way and guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until i look away but i've known you too long it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray as you fade away as you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I've never fell this way I really hope that you Will choose to stay Through all the pain I know you told your friend You're not okay And tell me what's wrong And why you never said You felt that way so guys you have to wait for everything in the pot to be completely cooked before you pour in your blended pineapple so you don't put a pineapple at the beginning you put it when everything is completely cooked you know and a flurry concoction is actually really red at this point you cannot add in your blended pineapple Fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. 
so i went ahead and added half cup of sugar half cup of sugar was just okay for me i don't want it so sweet and i don't know how you like it so one cup will be okay if you like it so sweet but one half was just okay uh, i went ahead and sliced my lemon into very tiny slices i'm going to use this for the bottom layer when serving the drink and as you can see i have my glass kettle here this is actually a glass kettle which i can use for tea and other stuff and if i want it cold i'm going to use my glass so let's start with glass i got this i got this the cold stuff here by putting sugar and flurry that's why you see that pink section around at the top of my glass so i'm just going to go ahead and put my lemon slices in my kettle and i also have some pineapple some i got some tiny pineapple chunks i'm also going to put that in the kettle for flavoring so you can see that's pineapple i'm just putting it at the bottom of the kettle for flavoring and i have to go ahead and sieve the flurry so our flurry is ready our sobo drink is ready our sobolo drink is ready and we just have to sieve all that and get the drink ready how do you like it do you like it warm which is winter edition or do you like it cold which is summer edition how do you like it i think i like it both way winter i'm going to get warm and in summer of course i'll get it cold with enough ice cubes so this is the winter edition which i'm doing now and i just put it in my kettle it's warm served warm and then the winter and um, summer edition you want something really chilled and cold and refreshing i'm going to show you how i did that after this So guys, we have come to the end of this video and our flurry drink is set. Chilled flurry drink with a straw. So thank you all for watching to this point. If you're watching from YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. If you're watching from Facebook, thank you. So please follow me and like this video. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.